Earlier, we saw the map function. The map function iterates through every cell of a given series. Say you have a data frame, from that a given column is considered as a series, right? Doing df on this particular column dot map, whatever function you are writing here will execute that logic on every cell of the series. That's what map function does. Now, sometimes you want to, instead of iterating through a given series alone, you want to iterate through the entire row of a data frame. That is, you have multiple rows here, multiple columns and rows here. You want to iterate through the entire row and do your computations based on all the columns or some of the columns in a given row. You can do that using the apply function. If you clearly understand this function, you will get the confidence that you can write any sort of logic on any given data frame. Now, apply works not just row wise, that is, you have this data frame, not just row wise. It works column wise also. That is, you can take a given column, do some computation on the entire column, and return back the output. This way also apply works, both row wise as well as column wise. So, what we are going to do here is we will use the Hungary chickenpox data set. This data set contains the number of chickenpox cases, weekly chickenpox cases for various regions in Hungary. Like these are the different values of this data set. What we want to first do is for any given week of this data frame, in fact, for all the weeks of this data frame, we want to find out what is the maximum number of cases observed in any part of Hungary, any of the regions within Hungary. We will try to do that. That can be easily achieved using the apply function. We will first see how to write this apply function based on this fairly straightforward example. What we want to basically do is what is the maximum value? Find the maximum value of every row in this data frame right? that's what we want to do we will do that with apply first then we will write the same logic with a for loop as well then after understanding that example we will see a column wise operation also all right let's first do this first objective is find the maximum of each and every row in this data frame so here what i'm doing first is i'm dropping this particular column date i'm not concerned about date drop it call apply then within apply pass in the function that you want to execute so here by default the entire entire values of the data frame a given row in a data frame will be passed on to this function from that output the function the output of this is going to be the maximum value right so, so here is i think it's going to be 173 or something that is going to be returned for every row let's run this and see the output so for the first column, we have the maximum value as 178. I think it should be hidden somewhere in here. Likewise, for second column, the maximum is 200 and so on. So that's the output. To do this with a for loop, it's quite straightforward as well. We simply iterate a given data frame row wise using df dot iter rows. Df dot iter rows. So this argument right here, row argument, is going to contain all the values present at each and every row. Right? From that row, we are going to extract the maximum value and append it to the max values list that we had initialized before calling this for loop. So let's run this. This output should match with the output of apply. So very first five rows. These five rows here is the same as what we got here. Good. Second example. What is the median number of chickenpox cases for every region? Now, for every region is key here because we need to find out the median number of chicken pox cases column wise for every region means each and every region is a column right so for budapest what is the median baranya what is the median and so on all right same apply function you can use instead of np.max we are going to use np.median but here the main change here is the axis changes to rows here earlier when we iterated row wise we had set axis equal to columns to do it for every column, set axis equal to rows. Let's run this. So those are the different median values. Hope that is clear, quite straightforward, right? The main thing that you need to remember about apply function is the function, whatever function that you are using here is going to receive the entire row or the entire column based on the value that you pass to axis. That's the main idea. Let's solidify this information with a mini challenge two mini challenges actually so the challenge for this video is 
create a column containing the difference between the highest and the lowest number of chicken pox cases. That is the first one. Second one is what is the date for a given region that received the highest and the lowest number of cases. Attempt this on the chicken pox data set. You will find the data set present in data set slash Hungary underscore chicken pox dot CSV. Give it a shot. I will show you the answers now. Here is the solution for the first one. We don't have a standard function to determine the maximum minus minimum. So we have to write our own lambda function. This x is going to receive all the values present in one given row because we are setting axis equal to columns. So this is the solution. Second one is same concept. Here we are going to use np.argmax and np.argmin. Instead of returning the maximum value and the minimum value, this argmax returns the index position of the maximum value. Suppose if you have an array here, suppose if your maximum value say 200 is present in 7th position, that 7 number will be returned by this. Likewise, if this position, 3rd position contains the lowest number, 3 will be returned by argmin. I am using this to extract the index positions, highest index and lowest index. The objective is to extract the date, correct? So, what I am going to do is, I will use the highest index and lowest index on df dot date on this if i use it to refer i will get the dates on which the highest and the lowest values were observed let's run this and see so this is giving the index of the highest and the lowest values so highest value for budapest occurs in index 158 which is the date 14th of january 2008 if you refer here in df.ilog 158th position, we have the Budapest value as 479. And if you look at the maximum value, Budapest has 479 here as well. So that is a basic check we are doing to ensure that np.argmax and np.argmin are working the way that we intend to. A little bit trickier one. Congratulations if you got it right. You are making really good progress. Let's keep up the pace.